absolutely not. Time to move. What it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous HD, and today we about to check out this video right here, and it is scary funny. I only say it's funny with the scary because it's not scary watching people get scared of it, but it is watching it myself, which y'all find funny. I don't think them shits is funny. I ain't chuckled once in this last however many years y'all been having me watch this shit. But y'all apparently laugh, and that's enough for me to do it again. With that being said, I'm about to check my Discord real quick and ask the viewers what y'all would like. Oh, shit, I'm not recording. I uh, just uploaded brand new feet nudes to the Only Toes account. I should really make an Only Toes account, nigga. I only, only kneecaps. Like, I might make a, like a, a kneecap OnlyFans. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make like one for my kneecaps and elbows and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You want the more exclusive pics, gotta slide the DMs. I'ma need at least 13, thousand dollars link in the description down below if you want to join my discord make sure that when you join remind me to start in only elbows i'm tired of posting premium feet nudes at these low of prices freaking 15 dollars a month come on guys i should be at least charging 75 i'm doing you literally a favor slicing off halves of 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 Tons of other halves of worth the pricing off of my already low rates. But yeah, so make sure to join the Discord if y'all want to jump on up in there and like help influence what we react to together, pretty much. But today's togetherness is all about terrifying horribleness. Don't ask me why my expensive glasses only have one piece of the thing in it. Impulse purchasing. I was gonna use that for a young child support skit and then dropped it. All right, so if you guys wanna watch the original video, the link is in the description down below. It's by TikTok Paradise. Oh, hell no. Absolutely not. Time to move. from my boyfriend on the bus. I saw a strange man standing behind me, but I ignored him. Moments later, he started following me. I wanted to run, but I was afraid that he would run after me. He started to walk faster and faster. At some point, he started shouting something, so I thought he was just drunk, but he still followed me home. Around the bend, I started to run all the way. Oh shit, hold on, I gotta, there's a whole two second scary story. Around the minute I started to run all the way to the house, when I was entering the house, I couldn't see him anywhere. But 20 minutes later, I heard the bell. Bruh. I called my mom, but they don't answer very fast because this man was standing right in front of my house, staring at me at the windows and began to move closer. What the fuck? At this point, I had a panic attack, and the worst part of it all, he walked across the garden to the door and began to yank the handle. I locked myself in the bathroom and waited for my mom and dad because no one was home. Damn! Bruh, she looked mad too. She's like, man, come on, son. Like, bruh, just get on Tinder or Bumble or Hinge or wherever. Like, you ain't gotta follow people home, man. They have places where you can follow people and it don't even cost money. It's called my Instagram. The link is in the description down below. After you follow me, then make sure to hit up like a bar or something, a discotheque. I don't know what the kids are calling them. Movie theaters. Any place nowadays should be sufficient in people, you know. After 15 minutes, he stopped, but I was there for another hour until my parents returned from work. Damn. Yeah, I ain't had that problem. But I will say, I did have this one dude try to dance with me at a 
birthday party, that shit was rough. I just chalked it up to Caucasian, like white people sometimes. I was like, man, this homie is just a weirdo. I'm just gonna leave. And I went to a different part of the party, and I sat down, because I do squats sometimes. I sat down, and then homie tried to sit down on top of me. And I was nice, but I still got up, pushed him up off me, and was kind of like, hey, but I, it wasn't even kind of like, I was like, yo, don't sit on me, white boy. I'll beat you. I, only a small amount, not enough to stop the party. I still made him understand, it's not gonna be me, nigga. And that's just real, nigga. But I left it at that. I ain't even beat him up, cause Lord knows I thought about it. But I was nice. <laughs> Jeff the killer caught on camera. This is my dog. He died a year ago. It's almost like he's still here. Have you ever seen this guy in your dreams? Guys, there's someone out there. It's like, what is that? That's your girlfriend, bruh. That's your girlfriend, bitch. Hello? No. Okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, let's, we're fine, we're fine. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Let's just get out of here. All right, run that shit over. That's what's up. Guys, we just found the craziest thing right now. We are at the gates of hell. I cannot believe what we just So we came up through there and there's a dead chicken in a bag with feathers everywhere. The gates of hell are down there and apparently people come here to worship the devil and do sacrifices. I have actually come across people while I've been here. We're gonna come back here at night, so if you wanna see that, like this video. Is that where the bad bitches be at? I don't give a shit about that, but girl, pull your breast out. But in like a way that still respects you and shit. You know what I mean? I'm not really, I, yeah, man, that. And yeah, this is like really effed up. I'm, I'm I don't know how these bitches is crazy bitches, man. I don't know why. I don't know why. What is that? Shit. I'm really upset. I feel Put like your videos up yeah, on my YouTube channel. Go. I bet it is. So a lot of you are saying this could be La La Rona. Oh, that's where somebody apparently doing a Negro spiritual of some sort. I don't know. I wanted to capture whatever this is against my better judgment. We have hit a dead end near the lake. Something doesn't feel right. A storm rolled in and wind picked up. Then this happened. Stay tuned. Hell no. I'm not, I'm not down for that. And I blame. <gasps> okay, I'm free. <gasps> oh my god. Did you say that? Oh my god! To us, no. So it's not like bad. In Shit. <laughs> that shit really made me scared. Bruh! Damn it! Damn it! What it is? That? Oh. And... <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my heart! You'll have 
doors opening and closing, drawers opening. A little blow on the back of my head. I was watching this woman for a while in a drive in a drive through line before my wife took this video. After the end, she dropped to the floor and never came back up. The whole apartment from that we could see was empty and a back corner was really dark. Whoever she is, I hope she's okay. Huh? Why is she just standing in the window? Uh, she's just standing there. Maybe it's a mannequin? I hope it's a mannequin. I hope it's a mannequin. Because that's, I mean, but she's, she's moving slightly. She's like rocking back and forth. You see that? Yep. No, I don't. That don't look bad. Jumping or? That don't even look bad. I don't nah, know. bitch. No, bitches, that don't even look bad. Y'all bitches is tripping. She's rocking back and forth, right? She ain't rocking shit, man. Like Y'all tripping, bitches. Yeah, no, she yeah. just did. This bitch is a trip thing. Bitch ain't floating. Where she gonna jump? What's hey, do a flip. Zoom in again. Boo, bitch. Do something. Show your pussy, bitch. Oh, <laughs> uh, she just. Please be sure do? to monitor. Oh, uh, she. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, that's creepy. I'm not gonna lie. That's that one got me a little bit. Ah. Uh, Please be sure to monitor your emotional state while watching this video. Hello. Hello. About how many people are you with right now? Are you sure? Did you <coughs> Do you believe violence is ever justified? If you had to guess, how long would you say it would take to get from your front door to where you are right now? How far would you go to protect a loved one? What's your favorite color? Are you a Do you virgin? have any pets? How did your parents treat you have as you a child? Seen a dead body? What's your favorite color? What's four times four? Do you cry at funerals? Were you happy or sad as a child? Are you happy now? Where are your So I've been hearing some strange noises streaming from this bathroom. Um, and so I'm going to set up this camera to record and see if we catch anything. Um, I've never caught anything on camera before, so I'm hoping that this might be the first time, but um, kind of sounds like scratches. This is some jump scare bullshit. I know it is. And I'm not gonna lie, I am scared. I'm scared. The Expressionless, an urban legend that gained traction on Creepypasta. All right, I've done my time. And after a while, the shit starts working. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If y'all did, make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. Is your boy Blasphemous HD? Nope. Hell to the no. To the no, no, no. TikTok user Ashley Rain has only ever posted videos of her family and all of their cute cats. But this next video is completely different from anything she has ever posted before. Ashley claims that late one night their motion activated security camera caught something truly bizarre. Stay there. Oh no. Oh no. Word? Bro, his neck long and shit, nigga. And it's gonna like. What the f What? 
What the fuck? Oh, oh no. The cat's One of there. Ashley's cats seems to be staring at a bizarre translucent apparition with glowing eyes that appears to be staring right back at the cat. At first glance, it just looks like the cat's owner playing peekaboo. But then the pale figure suddenly just floats up toward the ceiling before vanishing into thin air. Curious TikTok commenters believe Ashley's cat might have been trying to protect the home from an unwanted dark entity. Ashley says that the family has since moved to a new home and is happy to be out of their old house for good. But is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Damn that. You decide. Damn all that. Absolutely not. No. Peekaboo. Anonymous TikTok user Haunted Wesley Manor claims that he works as a building maintenance man for a large apartment complex that was built in the late 1700s. Now, back in those days, the basement of the building contained cheap live-in apartments for hundreds of poor occupants. But now, after years of restorations and remodeling, the basement is left empty and abandoned. TikTok user Haunted Wesley Manor says that many of his co-workers and even current residents of the building have heard and seen some very strange things. In fact, after many residents started reporting that they heard crying, giggling, and even screaming coming from the basement, the anonymous TikTok user and building maintenance man was forced to start checking out the creepy basement for intruders on a regular basis. He records his experiences and shares them on TikTok. Don't do it, man. Don't do it, baby. You don't deserve this. No. No. His curious TikTok followers believe that the spirits of restless children might actually haunt the basement, and they request that the TikTok user leave a toy in the basement. So he does, and that's when things get truly bizarre. I brought a little toy. Hopefully the ghost likes it. I think it's a child. I'm hearing a lot of stuff down here. No! The toy truck suddenly turns on as if someone or something touched it. After this creepy experience, the activity in the basement only seems to intensify. The TikToker begins to hear movements and giggling when he goes down on his daily inspections. And then, one day, he captures something downright chilling. That was a child. Help. Oh. No, a no, 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 no. can be seen peeking at the frightened TikToker from behind a wall. And then, the video cuts out. So, is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate TikTok hoax? You decide. Hell no. Oh. Unwelcome guests. In another video, TikTok user got the hell out. believes that a dark entity followed her home after she went on a paranormal investigation at a cemetery. Dumbass. She says that she's seen something strange in her yard on a regular basis. Dumbass. And that whatever it is, it appears to be getting closer and closer to her house. One night, she's shocked when something appears right at her front door. Maggie? Maggie? Oh my god. Maggie? Who is the fuck? Oh my god. Did he just move? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Is he out there? You better get the pistol! You better get the gun, bitch! Get, get the pistol, no, bitch! I don't see anything. Get the blinky! Somebody better get the, ain't nobody got a gun of some sort? Bruh, this nigga ain't even gonna take out like a, like a butter knife or something. No. No, stop being investigative. It looked like it turned and walked away. The only place it could have gone is through this. You already doing too much, bitch. <laughs> A pale translucent figure can be seen looking into the window of Maddie's front door. It then seems to move to the side and suddenly disappear into thin air. Maddie no. and her sister open the front door, nope. but no one there. Absolutely not. What makes this footage even stranger is that there's nowhere for this mysterious figure to have gone. 
there are several steps up and a tall guardrail right beside the door. So again, is it real? As always, I leave it up to you to decide. Waiting in the wings. TikTok user Bailey is the operations manager of an old theater that dates all the way back to the early 1900s. Bailey claims that the theater is extremely haunted, with strange sightings and unexplained voices occurring on a daily basis. Now, for security reasons, Bailey decided not to share the name of the theater on TikTok. But after some digging, I was able to find the name and the location of the theater. However, I will respect Bailey's wishes and I won't share it here. But I do think it's worth noting that the theater has a very haunted past. People believe the theater's founder, who passed away 60 years ago, haunts the playhouse to this day, still looking after his theater. One night, when Bailey is alone in the playhouse, he captures something horrifying. All right, guys, so I work at this uh, old theater and I've been hearing a noise. It's a really beautiful theater, as you can see, if you can see it at all. But I keep hearing a noise in here and there's not supposed to be anybody here, so just double checking, but I wanted to film it just in case. There's the ghost light. It's a light we keep on for ghosts, <laughs> for people who still remain here and whatnot. And, um, what the f What is that? Hold on, let me get a better look. Oh, the creepy figure of a man wearing a suit can be seen in the theater's old private balcony. Bailey says he's the only one who has access to the area where the apparition can be seen, so no one could have been up there. So could this be the ghost of the theater's founder still wandering around and keeping an eye on the place? Let me know what you think. Something that under the bed. Big. Oh shit. Somebody trying to steal their baby. Somebody trying to get money. Little Emma is sleeping peacefully with her doll when it inexplicably moves on its own. But creepiest of all, the child's shirt appears to be getting tugged by something that's just not there. Dad Josh believes the strange event to be something paranormal, but his wife Sarah is still skeptical. But it gets even creepier. Because late one night, Josh is at work and Sarah is fast asleep. Just around midnight, the baby monitor in Emma's bedroom records something terrifying. The TV in the room is on and little Emma is awake and seems to be curious about something underneath her bed. When she goes to investigate, the little girl appears to be getting pulled underneath the bed. Emma starts to cry and yells out for her mother who soon wakes up and comes to her rescue. But just what happened to little Emma is unclear. Josh explains that he has no idea what happened to his daughter. He shows in a video that the space under Emma's bed is too small for anyone to have been hiding under there. So what do you think happened to little Emma? Nope. Could it be that some dark presence has attached itself to the toddler? Or just what is going on here? Let me know what you think. The Late Night Watchman in this next video, TikTok user Fernando Victor Olive is working the night shift with his fellow workers at a train yard. Around 3.30 a.m., he decides to record a few videos to show what the night shift at the train yard is like. 
but after he uploads the videos, his viewers notice something in one of the clips. Something shocking. It looks as if someone is standing in one of the train doors. Now again, this train is locked and parked in the train yard in the middle of the night. It is supposed to be completely empty. So who or what, what is this? What the fuck? Now what makes this video even more compelling is the fact that Fernando has never posted any other video related to the paranormal on his TikTok. So could this figure be something supernatural? Or could it just be a very strange trick of the light? What? You decide. Oh, damn that. Invisible friend. TikTok user Luan, also known as Joshua Luck from Mexico, had a TikTok account dedicated entirely to his two-year-old son. Luan operates a general store on the first floor of his house that he shares with his wife and children. Then one day Luan's video content drastically changes as his two-year-old son begins to claim that he sees what he describes as a terrifying invisible child. This alleged invisible child scares Luan's son so much that he often cries in fear. Luan says that he doesn't see anything, but he says he has experienced a few strange incidents with things around the house seeming to move on their own. Then late one night at four in the morning, Luan is awoken by unexplained loud noises coming from downstairs. Thinking his store is getting robbed, he records everything as he runs downstairs. Buenas amigos. Bajé porque empezamos a escuchar ruidos y vine a dar una vuelta. Tenía miedo de que estuvieran abriendo la tienda o algo así, pero no. Vean, no hay nada. Ah, cabrón. ¿Sí vieron? qué pasó pero mejor me voy le dijo mi esposa porque esta chingadera se movió sola Run, me. ya me Run, está dando cosita Run, for the first time Luan captures something on camera that he can't explain a chair moves on its own over the next few days the unexplained activity seems to intensify every single night Things fall off shelves without explanation. The family starts to hear whispers, and late at night they hear a light tapping sound coming from inside their bedroom closet. One night when the knocking sound from inside the closet becomes terrifyingly loud, Luan once again decides to record no. to collect proof. No, 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 Dios mío, ¿qué es eso? ¿Hay alguien ahí? ¿Quieres algo? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? No inventes, ¿qué es eso? Se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió. Espérate, cálmate, ¿hay alguien ahí? ¿Te podemos ayudar? ¿Tienes algo? Dinos, dinos, se asomó alguien. Hey, man, you better square. You better square. That's what I'm talking about. The damn man. Espérate, alúzame. No hay nada, mira, no hay nada, no hay nada. No sé, no sé. ¿Sabes qué? ¿Sabes, ¿Sabes qué? Where's the feet at? Vamos con los niños. Where's the foot? Vamos con los niños, yo creo, mira. Aquí no hay nada. De este lado tampoco hay nada. Aquí tampoco. Vámonos con los niños, vente. Luan and his wife are lying in bed when the closet door swings open on its own. Oh, no, 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 no. Them from inside the closet. There's nothing there. His wife seems legitimately terrified. They take the kids and leave the home for the night. Of course, eventually Luan and his family have to return. So they decide to do an overnight recording session, hoping to catch some evidence of the strange activity in their home. What they capture is downright chilling. No, no! Mi mente mira todo lo que se cayó, se cayeron cosas, mi ¿Te prendes a tu cámara? Sí, ya lo estoy grabando. Deja grabo acá de este lado donde se cayó era el refresco, juguete, sí. el control. 
A ver, dame un chancito para yo grabar. Si no. quieres, graba ahí donde se ve, donde está oscuro, allá donde están las papas. Deja prendo la luz. Bueno, está bien. Voltar no, para oscuro. allá. Es que está muy oscuro y luego, ¿qué tal si veo algo? Ay, aquí estoy yo, me dices, tranquila. No, 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 mejor tú grabas. No, 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 Luan claims that his phone battery died right at the moment he captured something terrifying on oh, camera. No. A face with glowing eyes is staring right at them from the entrance of the store. But the bizarre activity didn't end there. On another night, Luan hears something knocking on their door. He turns on all the lights and once no. again starts recording. Buenas noches amigos, me tocaron la puerta, este carrito estaba... What's really her, bitch? Damn that! I ain't with that bullshit. Damn that! Don't you do it? Don't you do this? No, no. No hay nadie aquí afuera. Every man for himself. Pues para. Every man for himself. Get your shit together. Escuchando. Hey look, hey look, you better sell that shit. Ah, sell the shit out of that store. Muyos. Damn that. Aquí en el baño. No sé si será aquí. 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 No me siento nervioso, vámonos. As he pans his camera, someone or something with long dark hair seems to quickly move away and out of sight. But nothing compares to what happens on the night of October 18th. Why? No! No! Something knocks on his bathroom door. That's when things get truly bizarre. No! No! Me está tocando la puerta. Me siento muy nervioso, no sé qué hacer. Oh shit! Oh shit, come! 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 Stick and move! Stick and move, come! Oh no! They stealing! This ain't good, bro. Oh, why did it out? The door. Objects have fallen on the floor. Exercise equipment is moving on its own. But creepiest of all, as Luan pans his camera around his living room, in one split second, he captures a shadow figure sitting on his couch. The same couch that was empty only a moment earlier. So what do you think is happening to Luan and his family? Is their home and store haunted by a dark entity? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. TikTok be user Genevieve Swafford claims that four years ago she recorded a video when she suddenly heard her young daughter Laura Lee talking to someone. Even though they were the only ones at home at the time. Years go by. And eventually Genevieve goes back through her old videos and is shocked when she discovers that she might have actually captured what her young daughter was talking to. Oh, hell no. Lori Lee, come here. Lori Lee, who are you playing with? What are you doing? Her mom no! Genevieve doesn't seem to see, but it looks like a shadow no, walks right no! behind her. Lee. Genevieve asks her daughter what who she's fuck? playing with, but the girl has no answer. What? So could it be that Genevieve's house is haunted and her daughter could see the spirit? Maybe even talk to it? What? Or could this video just be an elaborate 
TikTok hoax. You decide. No, absolutely caught not. On camera. What you mean caught on camera, bro? TikTok user Chips and Chicken shared stuff? a strange video. Ugh. She explains that the video was captured by CCTV Texas late at night in the 50-year-old building of a union center in ah, California. Ah, one night, something one. triggers the building's alarm. Of so course the office it was manager Texas goes stuff. to check the CCTV footage. I actually he finds Texas a stuff. truly chilling discovery that, as TikTok user Chips and Chicken put it, quote, freaked him out. Damn, she bad. Is that doo-doo? Do or poop water? What the fuck is that? What? Is that nigga floating? She's floating, Bob. What the fuck? What? What the fuck? Oh god, that gives me the creeps. Yep. A white figure can be seen hovering around the back of the and building. And it's white? Workers who watched the footage believe it might be the spirit of a Union Center member who had recently passed away. Ah, that's why you get paid. user Chips and Chicken is baffled by the footage. She says that all of the men who work in this building are elderly and simply wouldn't know how to fake something like this. Is he calling her chicken because she's overweight? Because that's racist. So is it real? Or is it just an elaborate hoax? It's racist! You decide. That shit Afraid is racist. Is oh no. TikTok user and mother of two, Jessica Duffy, is not actually very active on TikTok. But there's one video taken by her Ring security camera that she just had to post. In the video, her two children can be seen joking about ghosts in the kitchen, quoting the Ghostbusters theme song. Now, I'm not sure exactly what started this odd conversation, but it seems like the ghosts might be listening. The two kids experience something absolutely terrifying. This on the bed. This don't look bad. Oh shit! Run, bitch! Run! <laughs> Being scared of ghosts. Them kids did exactly what they were supposed to do. They got the hell out. Yep. And just like dumbasses, they gonna go check it out. Well, when I said that the two kids experienced something absolutely terrifying, I meant terrifying for them. Because Jessica Duffy does not claim in any way that this footage shows anything related to the paranormal. It's very possible that this was simply a strong gust of wind that happened to blow the door shut at a comically perfect time. Or was it? Because only a few days later, something else happens that's a little harder to explain. Uh oh. Oh, this might not be good. See, I thought it wasn't no ghost, too. Oh, shit, who ordered pizza? I love how the dog literally says, I don't know. Sounds like Morgan did something. Well, like someone's in the house. Like someone's in the house. In another freaky turn of events, Jessica's ceiling fan in the very same room has a strange electrical short, causing loud popping electrical discharges and even a bit of fire, sending out a thick puff of smoke. The next day, of course, Jessica calls in an electrician to prevent a dangerous house fire. Now again, this might not be anything paranormal at all, but it's certainly a very strange phenomenon to occur just days after her children decided to taunt, quote, ghosts in the house. Or, you know, maybe it's just a very weird series of coincidences. Boo! As the name of the story implies, you decide. Boo! 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 
caught on camera. TikTok user Nina Enton shared a creepy video of her nephew, Emmy, on her TikTok page. In the video, the boy discovers the hidden nanny cam that's carefully placed in his bedroom to keep a safe eye on him. But what happens next is downright chilling. The terrifying face of what appears to be an elderly woman can be seen staring at the camera. Nina claims her nephew was alone in his room at the time of this recording. Now, fake or not, when I first saw this video, it freaked me out. So either way, the video is definitely very creepy, but as for whether it's real or fake, as always, you decide. Unexpected appearance. What the TikTok fuck? user Lacey Nicole is a theater teacher at Sarasota High School in Florida. Lacey says that there have always been stories about the ghost of quote Shannon, a Victorian woman who is said to haunt the high school's theater. Show your pussy, bitch. Back in 2007, during a high school production of Beauty and the Beast, many believed that Shannon the ghost made a very unexpected appearance, and it was all captured on camera. The unexplained apparition of a woman in a flowing white dress can be seen floating 8 to 10 feet above the stage. Now it should be noted that this was in no way a part of the play. So could this be the spirit of Shannon, the Victorian era ghost that haunts the theater? Let me know what you think. In the dark. What do you mean, hi, TikTok, TikTok user no Pershka me. recorded a quick video intending to show her noisy ice machine on TikTok. But when she was about to post it, she noticed something truly chilling. Tried to make a TikTok about scary ice machine, but I get a ghost in my house. Oh God! Ah, yeah, that that looked real. I thought that Did was you going. See it? Right before she flips on the light switch. What looks like a little girl can be seen standing right next to the ice machine. But as the light turns on, no one there. It's gone, bro. Is it just a trick of the light? That bitch was gone! Or could it be a TikTok hoax? What the fuck? I'll leave it to you to decide. Red door, yellow door. Natalie J and her friends are playing the scary sleepover game, Red Door, Yellow Door. What are you doing, bitch? Now, if you want to try it, you'll just have to look that up on your own. But I will say that one of the rules of the game is that if you see someone while in the supposed quote trance state, you are never supposed to talk to them as it is said that it's not a real person, but an evil presence. No. No. Red door, yellow door, any other color door, 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 red door, yellow door, any other color door. My man's enjoying a massage right now. What do you see? I see like a purple door, red door, and a yellow one. Are you in the room? Yeah. Oh, sh oh shoot! Oh no! No! Don't do it! Street! Oh, you in streets! Oh no! No, you better wake him up! In the streets, bitch! Wake him up! How is this scary? Man's is just a dumbass. Why is he crying? Why is he crying? 
That's what y'all get. That's what happens. I bet you'll shut the hell up. Why is she beating him? Why is she beating him? Hey, wake up. Wake up. Now, I'm not even going to try to pretend that I know what's going on here. I'll only say that if this is all a hoax, then that was some pretty impressive acting because that seemed like a legitimate freak out. Oh no. No, you better wake him up. Man, they got me watching some motherfucker got a panic attack. Boo! Wake him up! Boo! Boo, bitch! Yeah, it's better do some push ups! You can watch the two part video series on Natalie J's TikTok. The Creeper with Claws. That wasn't even what the hot cheeto. Mom's undies. He fled the apartment to stay at their parents' home. So, did the family capture some dark entity on camera? You decide. On the road. I love how he popped out TikTok and then popped back in like he, they, like he knew he was busted. Oh, Fort Smith, shit. Arkansas. He says that one night one of the truck drivers captured strange footage on a highway outside of Ada, Oklahoma. Many people, including children, have tragically lost their lives on the two busy highways running through the small town. Sherman and his workmates can be seen watching the dash cam footage from the truck. They are shocked by what they see. This should look like a video game. Yeah. Let it, let it roll. Come on, Emily. Come on, let it roll. I don't like this shit. <laughs> the truck driver barely manages to avoid hitting what seems to be a small child that appears out of thin air. But it gets even creepier because the driver says that he immediately stopped the large truck on the side of the road after this incident. He looked everywhere for the child. He found nothing. He called local police, but again, there were no reports of lost or missing children anywhere in the area. So, is this a ghost caught on camera? Or a completely oh, random unexplained child on a dark highway in the middle of the night and in the middle of nowhere? Let me know what you think. Just over your shoulder. TikTok no. user Alicia Nguyen is no. alone in her bathroom to record a TikTok video oh, she when bad. she captures something truly terrifying. Yeah, so which is back and forth from a reflection to herself. What looks to be the figure of a child appears behind her. He's trying to fuck and too. And then, just as quickly, disappears. He's trying to smash. Alicia has no idea who or what the mysterious figure could have been. So is it a ghost? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The Night Visitor. TikTok user Amanda Angelo is watching YouTube very late at night in her bedroom that she shares with her sister Alexis. Alexis gets up to go to the bathroom, but when she returns, something is just not quite right. Lexi? I don't like this shit. Lexi? Lexi? Hey, stop staring at me like that. You good, bitch? Alexis! That bitch, you good? Yo, you're starting to freak me the f out. Baby girl, you good? Mom! Mom! Baby girl! You want some penis? Mom! Did you try to get penis? That bitch in slow motion. Stop! Stuck out the matrix and shit. Why are you crying? What? She's crying? Hello? She's crying? Lexi? What's not um, moving behind her? Is there something moving? She's just standing here staring at me. It's crazy. Hey. Hey, go lay down. 
Now, of course, the simple explanation for Alexis' unnerving behavior is likely that she was simply sleepwalking. However, many TikTok viewers believe that she might have actually been possessed by a ghost or demon. Especially since Amanda- Look, I smashed this one chick while she was sleepwalking. She ain't even remember who I was, man. I was dating the girl, right? So it was different. It was frequently connecting our genitalia to one another. She forgot who I was. Yeah, I mean, it's funny too, cause she was like, oh my God, I would hella have sex with you cause you're really attracted, but my boyfriend will beat you up. Like he were, you know what I mean? It was hella wild. Like I had sex with a chick who was sleepwalking. The claims that the event happened at 3 a.m., which is said to be the hour when supernatural beings are the most powerful. Either way, it's worth mentioning that I believe that this video is 100% real. Well, let me clarify that. I believe that Alexis is definitely sleepwalking. Not necessarily that she's possessed. But if you watch closely, Alexis doesn't blink a single time in this entire video. What? Even though a bright flashlight is shining right into her face. In fact, Alexis keeps her eyes open for so long that they actually begin to tear up. So, what would you do if one of your family members suddenly walked into your bedroom at 3 a.m. and just started staring at you? Paranormal or up. not, this video is downright creepy. I'll stand up. Spider in the house. You good? Chilean TikTok What's user good? Marco Viegas claims that lately odd supernatural activity has been you occurring didn't get off your in chest? his home. He said, oh, he's trying to smash. it doesn't end there. Ooh. Two days later on April 30th, Franco Viegas starts to hear knocking on his bedroom door. Bueno, son... Son las... Las una de la mañana, casi. Y nada, para ser concreto, como ven, no tengo... Audio ni... Ni música en el video porque... Nada, me golpearon la puerta, muy fuerte, muy fuerte. Y estoy solo. Despertamos todos, todos los gatos. As he sleeps. In desperation, Franco asks his TikTok viewers for advice on what to do about what? the strange spirit that yeah, seems you to have me, you have for advice! One viewer recommends an odd sort of seance. No! Saying that Franco should try talking to the spirit no! by holding a candle in front of a mirror. No! Leave it out! Don't do this! What are you doing? Leave it out! No! No! Now, I'm certainly not saying that this footage is real, but what makes it more compelling is that Franco clearly shows that the bathtub is empty and that he's alone only seconds before the girl appears. One night, Franco is filming one of his cats playing. He's still there! What happens next is truly bizarre. No! What are you doing? I read on the first piece. Nigga! Ah, Gunche! Hey! Hey! Ah, uh, no way. Wait. Run, bitch! Ah, Gunche, tu So, is Franco Viega's house truly haunted? Or is it all just an elaborate. Run, bitch! You decide. You can follow Franco's continuing story over on his TikTok page. Yeah, nigga, dead. Something. Still remains. Nope. German TikTok Damn user Arvin.de travels to the home of one of the most well-known exorcism cases of all time. Absolutely not. Mickles. In 1975, Annalise no, Mickles' no. family claimed that she demonstrated strange behavior and dark supernatural abilities. Even Annalise herself claimed that she was possessed by a demon. The church was called in and Annalise Mickles went through a total of 67 exorcisms. She passed away under mysterious circumstances in her home at the age of 23. Damn. German TikToker Arvin finds a cabin that is said to have belonged to the Mickles family. When he records the inside of the cabin for his TikTok page, he has no idea that he's being watched by something. Dumbass. Oh no. 
Did you see it? When Arvin pans his camera, a face can be seen quickly moving away from a hole in the cabin ceiling. Arvin says he has no idea what this creepy face could be, and he only noticed it after TikTok viewers pointed it out. So, is it a real face? Is it a trick of the light? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The Highway 5 Ghost Girl Turn off the lights and go full screen because it's the top 20 scariest ghost videos of the year. The Highway 5 Ghost Girl This next video posted to Reddit by user Little Goth Doll was recorded from a monitor then screen capped on a phone before it finally made its way to the internet. So it's a bit potato quality. Nevertheless, the video is chilling. It was pulled from the dashcam feed of two truck drivers after a very frightening incident. So, one night two truckers are driving on Highway 5 in Lynn, Alabama, when they get the scare of a lifetime. The panic-stricken truck drivers pull over and call 911. But when they check the highway and the surrounding area along with arriving police, they don't find anything. There's just no one there. After the truck drivers request the viewing of the footage recorded that night on Highway 5, Y'all didn't see that. They are shocked. We're gonna edit that just out. Like they thought there is in fact a girl in a long dress walking across the road, seemingly getting hit by their truck. They later find out that there's a well-known ghost story associated with this road, Highway 5 in Lynn, Alabama. The story goes that 10 years ago on a rainy night, a teenage girl on her way home from her high school prom lost her life on the road after being hit by an 18-wheeler truck. Damn. Over the years, many truck drivers claim that they have witnessed a girl wearing a prom dress on Highway 5. So could it be that these truck drivers captured yes. the prom dress ghost yes. of Highway 5? Their reactions certainly look convincing, but as always, you decide. Damn. Yeah, that's look real. The Haunted Hill House. Oh, damn. Man. The Haunted Hill House in Mineral Wells, Texas is said to be one of the most haunted locations in the U.S. With an over 125 year dark and troubling past, nope. that doesn't come as much of a surprise. Nope, absolutely the home not. The was once a haven for illegal activity. No. It served as a gambling hall, a bootlegging operation, and Money? even a brothel. A it word? also served as a makeshift mm. hospital for over 50 years. Mm -hmm. It is said that the Haunted Hill House is inhabited by the ghosts of at least nine people who lost their lives there. The Hill House can be rented out for ghost tours and investigations no. by interested groups no. and curiosity seekers. No, no, so they ain't one they night in late September, in world, a group bro. of friends and family rented the Hill House There's no just way to have a little fun. Black. None of the group no were way quote, unquote, black. paranormal investigators. No. In fact, many of them were doubters who just wanted to prove that the so-called Haunted Hill House wasn't actually haunted at all. No. But that's not exactly how things went down. The house is said to be haunted by one particularly violent spirit that the house's owners no. refer to as Dr. Jaeger. One of the visitors, Victoria, lays down on the bed in one of the rooms and jokingly starts taunting Dr. Jaeger. It did oh, not no. go well. Oh no! Yep. Bet she'll shut the hell up next time. Oh! She was yanked off the bed. This was not a fall. And then they ran out. We're gonna rewind that and we're gonna show you in regular screen. Yeah! Yep. Yeah, get the hell out of that. Damn that. Something seems to violently yank Victoria right off the bed as her friends look on in terror. Shut up, bitch! The house has a static black and white security camera in every room, and it catches the action as Victoria is pulled off the bed and the group makes a run for yep. it. One of the guys is so shook, he even drops his phone and just leaves it on the floor behind him. Now, cut to almost one hour later, around 3 a.m., a guy named Drew wants to test this alleged paranormal activity for himself. Nope. So he enters the same bedroom and Stupid. immediately begins taunting the ghost of Stupid. Quote, Dr. Jaeger. Stupid. He says that the spirit is a coward and that if he really wants to attack someone, why doesn't he try attacking a man no! instead? No! 
No! Look at the guy in the white hat right here, guys. Follow him. Before I even finish my sentence, I'm in the air. Yep, beat the fuck up. There it is. Yep. Yep, there it is. Talking all that you shit. You see, he got pushed. So Drew got his wish. Talking all that shit. He is shit. violently shoved by something. And then he almost knocks down his two friends while making a mad Hell dash from yeah. the room. It should be noted here that Drew has gone on record as saying that he will never set foot inside the haunted hill house ever again. But it gets even weirder. Oh no. After Drew is pushed and he and his friends run from the room, something seems to yank the door shut behind them. If you watch closely, you can actually see the doorknob move as if it's being pulled. So is the haunted hill house one of the most haunted places on earth? Would you go into that room and taunt no. the spirit of no. Dr. Yeager? No. Let me know no. down in the comments. Absolutely not. Nope, I ain't about the that life. The happiest place on earth. I ain't about that life. Popular Japanese YouTube channel Fourth Wall claims that they have been sent video footage of a family visiting Tokyo Disneyland. Since there are very strict privacy laws in Japan, the footage has been blurred to protect identities. Now, allegedly the family's daughter is too scared to ever return to the Disney park after this incident. This is the footage. What the hell is going on? Oh snap, what's going on? I don't see nothing. Did you see it? No, I didn't. What happened? The anonymous video recorder is walking on the second floor of what appears to be the Disneyland Hotel lobby. Oh, no. It pan to the right, and what appears to be the pale, translucent figure of a little girl can be seen right in That's front of them. That's not that bad. But they don't see it. They didn't even discover the figure until after their trip while they were looking through their footage. So is it a ghost caught on camera? Or is it just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The Screaming Ghost Oh no. Paranormal investigator Ross Allison has been heading up a ghost hunting team in the Pacific Northwest called A Ghost for nearly 20 years. No. After one of their investigations, a female team member believes that she was followed home by an unhappy spirit who attached itself to her. Afterwards, she says that every time she records her voice, unexplained horrific screams and growls appear on her recordings. In this clip, to prove her claim, she records herself in full view of a camera in a room full of people, which would make faking the recording nearly impossible. Hi, it's me again. Obviously. No one can understand why you have to scream, and neither can I. Why do you follow me everywhere? I know you need my help, but I can't understand you. Please, can you just try to not scream? Oh, I can't wait to hear this. Can you thing. try to tell me your name? Yes, my name is. I have friends with me. They understand things in the spirit world. We all want to try to help. I know you came with me from Rolling Hills and I told you you would never have to go back there. But now I'm thinking you need to go someplace else. I'm going to turn it off now. Can't wait to hear this shit. Okay, let's see what we've got. Just as she claims, some terrifying voice seems to appear near the end of the recording, even though nothing could be seen or heard by live witnesses or in the video. Damn! Oh, I'm 
Some banshee type shit. Through the looking glass. In this classic internet ghost video, a man in South Yorkshire Don't go to haunted places. Oh boy. England claims that his house is haunted by the ghost of a young boy. One day he hears strange sounds coming from one of the rooms and begins filming. Enjoy yourself, Law. Don't, what are you doing? No! No, stupid! Come on. Pull another one out. Pull another one out. Pull another one out. I hope. Okay, now. A drawer opens on its own, and the heavy mattress falls over. But it gets even stranger. When the man is panning around the room, this. Come on. Did you see it? The shape of something that looks like a small boy seems to be peering back at him in the mirror. And when he pans the camera back, the shape in the mirror has vanished. Hell no! So is this a ghost caught on camera? Or just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Yeah, it don't look like no hoax, bruh. The Passenger. This next chilling CCTV video was allegedly shared to the public by an anonymous taxi driver in Japan. He says that a little after 1 a.m. he saw a woman on the street raise her hand to hell his taxi. He pulls over and stops. But what happens next is truly bizarre. The driver remotely opens the door in the back with a switch, expecting the woman to step inside the vehicle. But when he looks again, there's no one there. So the confused driver simply closes the door and drives away. But just a few minutes later, he drives through a tunnel on the road. Without him knowing, his drive recorder captures something absolutely terrifying. What the fuck is that? Oh no. No, 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 no. No! The extremely disturbing figure of a woman can be seen appearing in the back seat of his car, not once, but twice. She appears distorted with a swollen face, one creepy eye open and one closed. The taxi driver claims that he had no idea what was happening so close behind him. He says that he felt a disturbing chill at the time, but he didn't see or hear anything unusual. The driver believes this to be the manifestation of a spirit of the victim of a traffic accident on this road, forever lost on the streets of Japan, trying to get a ride back home. Uh, that's going to be the first part of 20 of the top scariest ghost videos of the entire year. If you guys want to watch the video, the link will be in the description down below. Twizam.